What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Yes, the champ is back. Well, the champ is back after two weeks in recording because, yes, you guys probably already saw it on the community page, yes, your boy Draven is now a seven-time champion. And, uh, well, we gotta move on somehow, right? Anywho, here we are still in, I guess, the... I can't remember the name of the place right here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, and, and see the name of this place, because Draven forgets every single time. So let's go use the radar, and yes, we are in Route 226, because, well, our next adventure is going to take us all the way to Stark Mountain. Yes, that mountain right there. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be going through a lot right here, guys. Because not only are we gonna be facing some trainers, but we're gonna be facing a lot of Pokemon as well. And uh, well, the story doesn't fit doesn't end for Team Galactic right here, or Team Plasma, whatever the name is. Team yeah, it's Team Galactic. They they they, they both look the same. Yes, it doesn't end for the both of them because well, there is something a foot right here. And what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna ride through my bike right here. Anywho. What I was saying before, guys, yes, um, for those who don't know, in my spare time, or during the day, I am a football coach, and at night, I am a badass gym leader right here, onto the Pokemon stages and all that crud, and, uh, well, my team, amazingly, they won their, well, their third championship in a row, you know, we got a three-beat, but that, for me, in total, is seven, seven championships. Yes, seven championships. I cannot believe it. And the way we won was just ridiculous. I couldn't believe. I still, I still can't believe we won. Honestly, guys, it was, uh, it was an, it was a pretty amazing game. I am happy about it, and uh, well, I'm very, very glad that the season is now over because it gives me more time on Saturdays just to, you know, record these episodes and get them out to you guys during the weekday. So, yes, congratulations to my semi-pro team, to my football team. Now we're gonna be going into high school football so let's let's see if we can go uh, we can get number eight right there anywho there we go wow that could have been ugly right there and uh well as you guys can see crash awake and berries right here and wake is like oh if it isn't draven it's been a while you've grown so tough that you're training out here everyone keeps getting tougher and tougher and in doing that they develop closer bonds with their pokemon Barry, of course, is, uh, well, he, he pretty much self-appointed this man as his master, even though, guy, even though the guy does not want to do anything with him. He's like, that's my master! Those words of wisdom. What? Are you still having trouble understanding? I don't for a second ever recall accepting you as my apprentice. I mean, if you, if it, if it's wrestling moves, I can show you all, like, uh, all you like, but, aw, oh, master, don't be that way. You got to get me into the club in the survival area. Hmm, how did, how, did, how did I get involved in this? Yeah, he, he does that. He does that from time to time. It gets, yeah, it gets annoying. It really does. He just pulls you in, and there's no way out. So anyway, Dra anyway Draven, you're going to Stark Mountain? Even in the even the wild Pokemon there are very, very tough. If your Pokemon aren't well trained, they'll have a miserable time. Then again, that kind of challenge is an exciting prospect. But no matter what, you would better be fully prepared. I've got to get ready to for another tournament. Farewell. And well, Barry sees his so-called master go away, and he's like, you know, I think I, I got a little tougher again. That's why I'm off to battle for. Uh, t uh, that's why I'm off to the battle frontier so I can make some challenges. Master, wait for me. Okay. Well, uh, he's a uh, well, crash awake. Barry's your problem now, so my bad. My bad. I feel bad for you, homeboy. So we're going into this house right here, and uh, what is this old lady saying? And she's like, oh dear, you're feeling uh, tired. So this is the rest area for the Stark Mountain. And, uh, well, we don't need to rest up again because you've taken good care of us and all that crud. Anywho, guys, yes, my weekends are now available. And, uh, well, it's going to be a very, very good thing because now I get more time to finish up some walkthroughs that are needed to, to be uh, finished. And, well, would you look at this? It's Buck! Yo, if it isn't Draven! I'm training right away, are you? So, uh, since you're training anyway, can you do me a favor? I'd like to... I'd like you to patrol Stark Mountain. Or Stark Mountain for me. 
Up past here, there's a volcano. It's Stark Mountain. Deep inside, it's a special rock called the Magma Stone. I can't explain it well, but it's really important. It keeps a Pokemon asleep. But lately, I've been hearing rumors of some vandals in the Stark Mountain. They say goons in spacesuits are causing trouble there. Huh? What, me? I was on my way to the Pokemon Center because my Pokemon's uh, low HP or low on HP. So if, so if you get back, uh, if you get up to the Stark Mountain now, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. So I guess we're doing his job right here. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and grab some uh, some items right here. So yes, my weekends are free, guys. Cannot wait. And. Uh, well, there are, there are quite a few things that you can actually do right here. And, of course, we're going to be speeding it up because, well, that's what we do right here. And, um, well, I think there is a little something that I, I, I can I can talk about throughout this whole thing right here, guys. And that is that we are getting close to the final episodes of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. And we are at a point where, back then, I kind of paused just because, well... Yeah, I, I didn't see no importance of this uh, of this game. I, I really didn't want to do it. And it took me like almost a full year to actually do the event Pokemon and all that stuff. Yes. But since now that we've progressed so much, we've uh, learned a lot of things about this whole thing. About, you know, the Dismume and how we can actually use a controller, the speed button, the whole thing right there. Yes, we're going to be finishing it up, uh, I want to say, this week. Yeah. We're gonna be. F I, I hope so. I don't know. We will see. And here we found ourselves a charcoal, a, uh, a a a nice a nice item for our fire type Pokemon. And we're gonna speed this up. Yes, we're gonna be taking on some Weezings right here. So let's go with uh, that. And well, <laughs> that was a Kamikaze right there. Um, before we do anything, nope, you can't go through there. So yes, um. Yeah, we're we're in the we're in the final stages of this whole game right here, guys. And I was thinking it through, and that was that is the only way we can get through. Okay, so I was thinking it through, guys. And uh, yeah, once we get to these event Pokemon, all bets are off. We are gonna be finishing this whole thing up in a, a timely fashion because, well, the event Pokemon I don't really consider as you know like part of the full adventure but it's something extra for you guys to see and how to do of course I'm gonna be showing you guys the codes kind of like what I did in Pokemon uh, heart gold soul silver and uh, yeah from there we're gonna be going on to the next thing many of you guys already know that the next game ha has been on hiatus for about almost a year probably two we need to get back on that. And, uh, well, once we get back on it, we're going to be finishing that thing, too, by the end of the summer, hopefully. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on some Pokemon. Here, this guy has Breloom. It kind of hurts me because Breloom's one of my favorite Pokemon. And, well, he puts us asleep. So let's go with Big Booty Buckus. And as many of you guys already noticed, yes, he, he is missing a move. And that is because... Yes, that is because... When we transfer this Pokemon over, we weren't allowed to have a Pokemon with any uh, HM moves going into this game. So, yeah. If you want, if you guys want to refer to all that, go back to the Pal Park episode. That way you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to go down here because we kind of want to grab an item first. And there could always be an item right here. Let's see. What if we go right here? Yes, there is an item right there. And we found ourselves a life orb, which I think can be used for competitive battling and stuff. Hmm, a life orb. Let me check. Let me check on that. That sounds familiar. So let's go down here. So the life orb is an item that, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts the power of, of moves, but at a cost of some HP each hit. So, yeah, that that, that, that has its drawbacks and all that crud. And, well, hopefully we use it at some point. Once we get to the Pokemon League, then bam, you, you guys are going to see what we're going to do right there. And here we have a Dragon-type Pokemon. Holy buckets. And it's a Dragonite. So let's go with Toothless. And here comes a Dragon Stance. So we got to go with a Dragon Rush. And just like that, we win. Okay, so let's move on. And once you cross... Uh, well, once you get through these, uh, these stairs right here, something's going to unfold. And, well, let's see. Let's go to the rocks right here. Always go to the rocks. 
So we're gonna go right here, guys. And as you guys can see, you pause for a moment, and you're gonna see some Team Galactic, guys. It is like, uh, this is it, Stark Mountain. Now we need to get to deep inside. Let's do this. And the other grunt is gonna be like, yeah, but can that old guy really take over? Can he really, uh, or can he replace Master Cyrus? Yeah, I hear you. That Elder uh, Charon, or Charon, is a commander, but he can't replace Master Cyrus. Maybe this is a good time for me to be done with this Team Galactic thing. Yeah, probably. And, well, our repel has worn off, and, uh, well... Here we are in Stark Mountain. This is normally where... This is where I normally pause, but... We're gonna go inside. And here you have all of T Team Galactic. You got Mars, you got Jupiter, you got Charon, and you got the two guys right there. Mars is like, hey, you! Tell us where Master Cyrus went. Where were you after you disappeared at uh, that Spear Pillar? Huh? The Distortion World? Where Giratina was? You're not making any sense. Don't play the, that card with me. Fine. You don't want to talk? I'll bet you and make you talk. Okay. So here it is, guys. Another battle against a Team Galactic grunt. And, uh, well, it's Commander Mars. And she is looking for her best friend, her Biffle. Uh, good old, what's his name? Um, uh, yes, uh, Cyrus and all that crud. And, well, probably should have traded my Pokemon just a little bit more. And, yes. Okay, so, yes, we're getting our butts kicked right now. So here we go with Hadouken. And going with a crunch attack right there. And here comes a Perugly. The bait of my existence is right here. Rugly can go eat it because we're at a rain dance, and here comes a surf attack for the win. Sage grows to level 65, and here comes Golbat. So let's go with Raiden and go with Thunder Sense. Yes, rain dance is in effect, and that's how we do it. Yes. My Pokemon, or my Pokemon let me down again. How am I supposed to get the information about our missing Master Cyrus? Uh oh. Mars. You really are weak. Pitiful so. Pitifully so, I should say. You make me embarrassed to be a commander like you. Fine! I'll go up next. I want to know what's become of Master Cyrus too. Yes, okay, so they do not want to believe what's going on. So, here we go, taking on Commander Jupiter, and she's coming out with a Bronzong, and of course, I'm coming out with the same old BS right here. And, well, here comes a Reflect, so there we go. And, Toxic Attack. Oh yes, Toxic Attack does not work on a Steel-type Pokemon. Alright, Crunch Attack for the win. Alright, and yes, we're getting our butts kicked right now. So let's go with Leonardo and finish this guy off with Ice Beam for the win. Here comes Golbat and, well, another Ice Beam does the trick. And Skuntank, another Pokemon that I really, really, really do not like. And the Poison Jab hits is pretty good. So here comes Ice Beam for the win and Leonardo grows to level 78. How do you like me now? He's like, quit flitting your tough, your toughness. Yes, I am cute, but I am very, very tough. How dare you? <laughs> okay, that's it for me. I'm going to look for Master Cyrus. The Distortion World, was it called? I should go there, right? I'm quits with Team Galactic. Jupiter, you you can deal with it. Following Mars's lead, at any uh, anything irks me, but I'm quitting to do my own thing too. Team Galactic's just no fun without Master Cyrus around. So, old timer, go ahead. Do what you want with Team Galactic. <laughs> wow. There you have it. We're going back to being ordinary girls. You can mop up whichever uh, way you want. Okay. Alrighty, so we have rehabilitated, and well, Jupiter's like, says you, an ordinary girl, you're not. What should I do now? Is leaving, a uh, leaving on a journey the right idea? Yeah, it's worked for me, it's worked wonders. And Jerome is gonna be like, hmm. So impressionate and impetuous. What do they see in Cyrus? Immature, overthinking buffoon. He goes through a he goes through the trouble of assembling Team Galactic for what? Ultimately, he destroys his own creation for the ludicrous vision. It's no thanks to him that I have to struggle with the with the pieces. But that's fine. The young can live without with their dreams. I prefer him to remain firmly in reality, and for that, money is paramount. You there, child. I am not dealing with you. After all, the other galactic members who did uh, who did all suffer the consequences will be off to collect the magma stone, and it's all money. Uh, it's all for money. Okay, so we got the money grubby guy, and well, once we well that that happens, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do this. Okay, 
So once we're here, they're off for money. Now, I gotta do a few things, guys. First off, I gotta heal up a Pokemon. I gotta wake up another one because, well, yeah, we're, we're a little underleveled and all that crud. So let's go with the Hadouken. And let's go with the Toothless. And uh, what else? What else are we doing right here? Oh, yes, we're healing up our Pokemon. And we're doing that. And oh, yeah, let's go ahead and put Toothless in the front because, well, Toothless is our boy. And the other thing, too. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Where are the repels? I'm asking nicely the repels. Um, oh yeah, 10 repels, and, oh yes, we need a Pokemon that knows strength, and I believe that was, a uh, Big Booty Book is his, uh, move before we switched him off, so let's go right ahead and give that to Big Booty Buckus, and, alright, let's go, let's do this, for America, alrighty, so Big Booty Buckus pushing boulders like if it was nothing, and, well, let's go right ahead and grab this little sucker right here, and there we are. We found ourselves the PP up. Of course, that was Siri, and, uh, well, let's go right here. I don't think that's the right idea right there, because, oh, wait, there it is. Yes, this place is going to be filled with a lot of items that you could grab, and uh, I would I would suggest grabbing them because, well, crud. Items, free free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? And here we grab our, grabbed ourselves a full restore, which is also great. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to deal with that. So, huh. There seems to be an entranceway right here. Let's go right here. Of course, I am getting messaged like nobody's business. Good gravy. Why is it always during my recording time that I'm getting messaged by people? It, it, it gets it gets rather annoying. It really does, especially when I'm like trying to record for you guys. And, well, look at this. We found another item right here. And this one is an escape rope, which you guys will be needing because... In the next area, holy buckets, it is a, uh, it is a uh, quite an adventure. So let's go, let's go right ahead and do that. And let's see, let's go right here, move on ahead. And yes, yeah, so it looks like the, it looks like we need rocks, uh, rock smash for this. Who, who has, who is capable of rock smash? I think that's the reason why I brought Magnetric because. Probably the only Pokemon that can learn it, and uh, duh, 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 duh. nope, nope, I made a mistake. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna be switching out some Pokemon. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. Good gravy, it really does take a lot just to get here, especially when, yeah, there's nothing else. There's no, there's no Pokemon centers except for just. Oh wow, I, I, I you know. This is the reason why I don't like, uh, yeah, this is the reason why I don't like Pokemon Platinum a lot, because good gravy, they make it hard for you to just get through this place. Anywho, enough me complaining, let's go ahead and progress. Now, the Pokemon I'm, I managed to get myself back into is good old Medicham, or Dulcim. And, well, here we are inside of Stark Mountain, and as you guys can already tell, Buck has returned from healing up his Pokemon, and he's gonna be like, Hey, Draven, wait up! So what's going on? What? Team Galactic is here? Gotcha. Let's team up and go together. And, well, it looks like to us, we're going to be getting healed up and uh, battle and everything. Now, another good thing about me moving on forward right here is, yeah, we got quite a few repels because, good gravy, we, we, we always miss out on the repels and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and battle everybody we see right here. As you guys can tell, yeah, we're going to be getting messed up right here. Looks Ray has been defeated. And, wow, Toothless getting hit with that. Oh, wow. So let's go with Big Booty Butt Kiss. And here comes Gliscor. So let's go with the Flamethrower. Avenge our friend right here. And Glalie has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with a Flamethrower attack for the win. And Sage grows to level 66 right there. Clay Doll has been defeated. And, wow, it's a two-on-one assault right here. And, yes, we are now confused. So we got to go to the Pokemon that can actually save us right here. So... This could be a gamble, using Dulcim, and it was a gamble. Good gravy. Okay, never mind. All right, we're intimidating everybody right here, and Ursarang, we got to poison you because, good gravy, you are you are messing us up right now. So let's go with Crobat. Wow, we're getting our butts kicked right now. All right, Leonardo, Rain Dance, Air Slash, and Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, get yourself a Leonardo. 
Okay, and uh, from this point on, we're gonna be getting healed up and all that crud. Thanks to Buck, but seriously, why, why haven't you guys gotten more Pokemon than just one? That's my question. Okay. Anywho, let's move on ahead right here. Now, make sure to check every single boulder. Make sure to go to every single location right here, because yes, there's a lot of stairs. There's length. Giggity. There's length on every single area right here, so... Wow. Okay, and we can't use rock climb, so that's probably a good thing, because good gravy, this... It's just, yeah, this place is just ridiculous. So, do you guys not see why I, you know, back then I decided to not, not go through this whole area? Yeah, it's just too much. And, you know, winning the Pokemon League, that, that's enough for me. But, since you guys have requested it, I am, I am, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, let's see. Actually, yes, let's go ahead and do this and, okay, so never mind. Yeah, so, like I was saying, um... Since you guys requested it, I aims to please and all that stuff, so let's go right ahead and do that. And yeah, thankfully we do have the speed button for all this crud right here. And another thankful, another thing to be thankful for is the fact that we don't need to use um, Rock Climb. And uh, well, we got two Pokemon right here. Let's go with a Rock Slide. And Scaravia is uh, getting its butt kicks. Toothless grows to level 61. And... Well, let's go with another Rock Slide just for that. And Toxicroak survives. And Psychic does the trick. Here comes a Fero, And Rock Slide is doing it again. And there we go. Noctowl is just... Yeah, Rock Slide all the way. And how is this Noctowl just tanking it? I don't know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... I see a Pokeball. So it looks like we're going to grab it. Make sure to have a Pokemon with both Strength and Rock Smash just for this situation right here, guys. And there we go. We got ourselves a Calcium. Not bad. And, well, we're going to be speeding up right here. That was not necessary. So let's go right ahead and uh, see what else we can actually find. And like I said before, bring a boatload of uh, Repels, guys. And, yes, let's go ahead and use Strength Attack. Big Booty Buckus using its Might. And, well, I kind of want to use a different Pokemon for this one, so... Let's go with Dulcim. Let's take that risk, guys. Okay, so we got Ace Trainers all over the place, and, uh, well... It looks like to us we are going to have a good time with Drapion. That Crunch Attack is... Wow. Okay, how do we miss? Oh, it doesn't affect... Oh, Crap Baskets. Okay. Ew. Ew. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so Toothless for the win. And, well, Earthquake Attack. Drapion and Pupitar getting their butts kicked. Torterra's coming in. And Torterra takes, barely takes damage. And, well, it looks like Sage is learning Leaf Storm. Let's go ahead and take a look at this move. So, Leaf Storm, it is a very, very... Oh, it's a special attack. And a sharp... Or a storm of sharp leaves is whipped up. The attack's recoil sharply reduces the user's special attack, which... You know, it, it's tempting, but I'm not going to use it because, well, yeah, it's it's too much of a risk. And, well, here's a, an example of Leaf Storm right there. So, let's go with Big Booty Budkiss. And Big Booty Budkiss going with a flamethrower attack for the win. And, yes, we win. Okay, so let's grab this item. Here we found ourselves a TM-50, the, well, the fire-type equivalent of Leaf Storm. And, well, of course, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon right here. As you guys can see, they are both at level 55 and 53, respectively. And this is mainly because, well, my Pokemon's weaker than most of these guys. So let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with the uh, good old Toothless. And, well, I think we should speed it up a little bit right here. Anywho, guys, let's go ahead and continue talking. Let's go ahead and continue talking about the future of this walkthrough and all that stuff. So... As many of you guys already know, the goal is to try and finish this walkthrough up by by episode 50. If you can get it before then, then <laughs> more power to me, right? And... Wow, okay, so that might be an item right there. No, that was just a waste of time. Um, and as many of you guys already know, I've said this early on in this episode, Pokemon Y2 will continue on after this. I am thinking of uh, playing one of the... Oh wow. Okay, so we're they, they, nobody's nobody's gonna escape right here. So let's go right ahead and beat these guys before we start talking about plans. Uh, huh. Okay, you know what? Earthquake attack and Primate gets it and Swagger does it and well here comes Bayonet. So we gotta switch out. Go Hadouken and Giga Drain hits us and we're gonna be flying because it looks like to me. 
Yeah, that, that, oh yeah, Hadouken is going to take care of one, but Claydol is getting his butt kicked, and well, let's go straight for a crunch attack right here. Bayonet has been defeated, and Stone Edge seems to be the bane of my existence. So, let's go right ahead and go to our buddy Toothless, and go with an Earthquake attack to finish off both these guys. And just like that, here comes Ampharos, another great Pokemon that I probably would want to use. So like I was saying guys, yes, uh, we're going to continue on with our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. It's been almost a full year, oh wow, yeah, don't heal the Pokemon. It's almost been a full year or two since we've, you know, started it and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I would do, like I would do Pokemon White, but what's the point? Like seriously, what is the point of playing Pokemon White if, you know, we're doing White 2 and it's pretty much the same thing, the same game, except, you know, three years later. And I'm, I'm damn sure that many of you guys would want to see the, the continuation of that game. It's, you know, I've, some of you guys have been hitting me up, and that's good. That's fine. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna try and get that game done for you. Now, here we have an item. And we got people. Huh. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be battling a whole bunch of people right here. Holy crud. And here we have Lunatone and Soul Rock, And that is not good. So, let's go with Leonardo. And... Surf, or let's go with the uh, Rain Dance, and Solar Beam is just messing with us. So here we go, Surf Attack for the win on both, or on all three, and well, here comes Gower Devour and Glade. So let's continue on with our Surf Attack. Captivate is uh, not the great, the greatest move ever, but it still does its thing. And Sage grows to level seven or 68, which is also good. So let's go right ahead and grab this item, and here we found ourselves an Iron Bowl. So yeah, that that's the plan right there, guys. I, I get it. Maybe maybe it would be a, a good idea to do or to revisit the Unova region from the very get go. But you know, I think uh, the second iteration of it will be best since we're almost done with it. I just got to catch up on what I do. What did I do exactly? And well, let's go right ahead and battle these guys right here. I think we're getting close to this whole ending right here. So let's go right ahead and battle these guys. And this guy has got himself a Dragon-type Pokemon. You know he's going to progress. And here comes Raticade. And Shellgun, you're going to get beat. There we go. And Endeavor's just messing us up right there. And here comes Driflim, Vibrabra. And wow. Holy crud. Okay. So, Rock Slide. Let's go ahead and finish up our opponent right there. And that takes care of that. So let's go right ahead and do this. Toothless grows to level 70 or 62. And, well, at this point, we're going to go with Big Booty Buckus. And the Leaf Storm doesn't really do much right there. So here comes a Flamethrower attack. And there we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Um, healed up our Pokemon. And we're close. We are very, very close. There's an item right there that you, know, you can only get through rocks or Rock Climb. And the ex Not the exit, but the the entrance to or yeah the secret passageway is right over there okay so yes let's see any other games that i have planned yes pokemon alpha sapphire is still in the works guys i have been a little lazy playing that game mainly because you know been busy and all that crud but we're gonna be uh, getting five episodes every single week and well I'm going to try my best to speed up a lot of the, the content right there because, well, as many of you guys already know, the way I'm going to be playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire is not going to be through emulator or anything like that. If it was through emulator, it probably would be easy just to, you know, use a, just to use a, what was it called, um, a, a speed button, but it doesn't have speed button. So, let's go right ahead and finish these guys off right here. And there we go. And, well, let's see. Dragon Rush, let's finish this guy off. There we go. And, well, the Ace Trainers, you gotta love them. They always have some some of the coolest Pokemon, but they never really work uh, well together. And I see more potential victims right here, so let's go right ahead and take on these guys. And, well, this guy's got a Gibble and a Machamp, so finish this guy off right here. And, well, let's continue on with the Dragon-type attacks. Right now, Machamp is being spared, and here we go again. There it is, and that right there is our victory. Holy crap, okay, so look at that. And, well, there's another area where you can actually rocks, or rock climb. 
obviously we're gonna be coming back to this place once uh, you know we're done or you know once uh, we completed the whole heat or the Team Galactic thing but it'll be afterwards because you know we got legendary Pokemon to capture and here we go with the strength attack and there we go okay so here we are towards the cave and Buck's looking around and he's like here we are Team Galactic's inside right this is it no fooling around Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. And Jerome is like, Cyrus disappeared. Mars and Jupiter quit. Saturn said that he would uh, he would look after what remains of Team Galactic. But he won't join me. So foolish of him. So very foolish of the rest of them. Throwing away Team Galactic. After all the effort to, we took as a team to, uh, to make it grow, that power would have made us rich beyond imagination. But enough of that. Team Mag... Or the Magma Stone will be mine. And... And, uh oh, something's going on right here. And uh, Bugs like, hey you, Team Galactic, what's going on here? Uh, eh, what's this then? Chase me here, have you? I like seeing children try their best, uh, but too bad for you. You're too late. With the magma stone, I will awaken the legendary Heatran. I will control the volcano's eruptions to extort money from it by the millions. Fear me, for I am Sharon, the boss of the reborn Team Galactic. Go, go, go! Oh, wow, and, whoa, look at this. <laughs> He's like, no, the magma stone. What, 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 what's going on? Excellent work, Krogon. Ha! Disguising myself as a boulder for stakeout was not easy. Hmm. Now, old timer, the, the International Police quarterly requests your cooperation. I am sure you have too much to tell us about the new Team Galactic. With Cyrus, Mars, and Jupiter gone, you are all that's left. Hey, it's the International Police! Yeah, it's the, the International Police, all right. There's only one thing to be done! And... run away! Oh, wow, so... Huh. God, what a mess! Uh, the International Police? What are you saying? I know nothing. A new Team Galactic? Extorting with Heatran? Merely merely the blathering of the harmless old man, all, all said in jest. Besides, among Team Galactic's commanders, I was just the most junior. You can tell us about it. We have plenty of time. Oh, no, no. No resistant arrest. You can't win three on one. No. Okay, officers, over here, if you will. Oh, wow. And <laughs> it looks like Jerome is, uh, yeah, he's got some stuff going on right there. He's an old man. This this he cannot uh, be good for him. Quickly, take him out somewhere cool. Yes, the cooler will be. Uh, will do. Uh-oh. He is not happy, and he's like, I, I, like I could have done it if it wasn't for your pesky kids and that dog too. And uh, well, Looker's gonna be like, Driven, you, and you, unfamiliar boy. I wish to say something. First, it is too hot. Let us exit to this environment. And well, here we are. And he's like, Whew, the air outside is it delicious. Yes. <laughs> I have inhaled the volcanic ash by the lungful. Now, you two, this is what we, they were after, the Magma Stone. Moving this is set to awake in the... <coughs> wow, can't even talk. The Pokemon Heatran. The old, tales, uh, the old tales say that it's awakening, it will make Stark Mountain, Stark Mountain erupt. But I have moved it. It, it is here, will this cause the eruption? Hey, don't sweat it, stranger. Give me that Magma Stone and I'll put it back for you. And, well, Loker's gonna be like, that boy, he has quite the energy, yes? Draven, I should tell you why I have arrived here. After all, we parted at Mount Cornet. I investiga investigated their hideout. I uncovered Tyrone's plot, which led me to the stakeout of this place. That Tyrone is now securely within our custody. It is safe to say that Team Galactic is no longer a threat. That being said, it looks like my work here is finally finished. Hmm. Hey, stranger, I put the magma stone where it belongs. It'll be okay now. Heatran won't wake up, probably. But hey, Draven, you're an amazing trainer. Swing by my place later. It's in the survival area. Be seeing you soon, or be seeing you, stranger, and Draven. Bye bye. The survival area. Were we there? Uh, we were, and uh, well, we have to see him walk away, like literally walk away. I also will be taking my leave. The more wonderful the meeting, the sadder the parting. That is a quote I have heard many years ago in a foreign land. It's meaning I understand it better now. Farewell, Draven, my friend. Long may or may you cherish Pokemon. Okay. So, let's see. 
if I am not mistaken, the survival area is right here, right? Yes, okay, so let's go ahead and fly back. Now that we're done with Stark Mountain, not really, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We're going to be going right here, Stark Mountain, or the survival area. And Jerome, or Book, is right here next to, uh, what's his face, Barry, and he's going to be like, Yo, if it isn't Draven, this, it's my place. Drop in, hey? Okay, so we're going to be dropping in. I am not going to be talking to Barry because I don't like him. And as you guys can see right here... Oh, so you are your Buck's friend. Yes. I've heard about you, about both Buck and Wake. Well, my young friend, you're always welcome here from now on. This is a private club for only Sinnoh's gym leaders. Or those vouched for by those uh, self-same uh, self gym leaders. It's a place where the best seek to better themselves. Welcome to the battleground. As many of you guys can tell, yes, this is the place where you can actually battle or rematch any of the gym leaders. And, well, right now they got Fantina and uh, Rourke or whatever his name is. Now, Barry's going to be like, hey, Draven, you aren't getting, or you aren't the only one getting tougher. I'll prove it to you. Let's go. Great. If only I could bring in my Kanto Pokemon to mess this kid up. So, here we are taking on Barry himself. He did get tougher, but I am even stronger. And, well, he's using a U-turn right here. So, let's go with Sage of the Halo. And we, wow, we are frozen. How in the heck did that happen? Okay. All right, Barry. You messed with the wrong person, as always. Frozen, as always. And here comes an Ice Fang. And, well, let's go with the Leaf Blade. For the win, that's how we do it. And here comes Rapidash. So, let's go with Leonardo. Leonardo, Surf Attack. Surf Tag does its thing. And here comes Tora Terra. Here we go with Big Booty Budkiss. And this guy's just wondering, how the heck did he get all these Pokemon? Well, we made a long, long, and I mean long adventure. Two other areas, maybe three. And Sage finally grows to level 70. So, let's go right ahead and go with Delcim right here. And, well, let's go with High Jump Kick. That nearly defeats this guy. And wow, we are paralyzed. Holy buckets. Okay, so... His level 63 Snorlax almost beat the crud out of me, so let's go again with another high jump kick. And that body slam is just ridiculous. And, well, look at this. Dalsim finally grows to level 54. Let's go with Toothless yet again. And, yes, Rock Slide almost beats this guy. And let's go Rock Slide again. Close combat is going to mess us up. So, let's go with uh, a full restore right here, and here comes a U-turn, and this guy right here is trying to avoid, he's trying to avoid def uh, defeat, so let's go with Hadouken. And that Mega Horn did not work, so let's go with a Fly Attack, and that does it. And here comes the Raptor. You know what? Let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and mess this guy up. So, Toxic, Aerial Ace is not working, and, well, let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with Toothless. And, well, I hate to say it. Here we go, Rock Slide for the win. Suck it, Barry. And he's gonna be like, It's alright, though. I'll keep getting tougher, Draven. The more you do, the tougher my Pokemon and I get to. There's no end to Pokemon. That's why I'm saying Draven. Hmm. Anywho, that right there completes our little episode for today. I know it's been long, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing for this whole thing right here. So, it looks like to me, the next few episodes, guys, we are going to be going through some legendary Pokemon. And I'm talking about all of them. I'm talking about the Regis, all four of them. I'm talking about the event Pokemon, you know, like Cresselia, um, Darkrai. So, let's see. So, we got four Regis, Cresselia, Darkrai, so that's six Pokemon right there. We got the three legendary birds, so that's, wow, nine. And then we got Shaman. We got Diaga, Palkia, holy crap baskets, that's 12. And then Arceus, holy buckets, yeah. And oh yeah, don't forget Heatran, but I really don't consider that Pokemon a legendary. Manaphy, and Fion, good gravy, 16 Pokemon right there. Okay, so this is what is going to happen from here on, guys. I am, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done with this whole walkthrough right here. Um, we are going to be capturing all these legendary Pokemon. We are going to activate everything. So from here on, the Pokemon that are just uh, event Pokemon, yes, we're going to be capturing them easily through other means. The Pokemon that are still left right here, 
like Dialga and Palkia. Yeah, those Pokemon right there are going to be captured the regular way, and that is through struggle, sweat, and uh, a lot of cuss words. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, I believe we're going to be going against uh, Shaman first. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.